Hello everyone and welcome back to the Plymouth Argyle Road to Glory career mode and I know it has been a minute. It's been about I think a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks since the previous episode. Um, I'm sorry about not posting anything during that time. I've been very busy in my personal li life. A lot of good, a lot of positive, nothing really negative except for, as you can tell, it's November. Or sorry, as I should say, it's the end of November about to be December. I was trying to record episodes in advance, so that way if I did get busy, I could just edit them real quick, send them out, and you guys still had an episode to watch. And somehow, the month of November did not record. As you can see right now on the screen, we played Stoke City, Norwich, Reading, and QBR, and pretty solid stats so far. Three wins, one draw, very exciting stuff. It puts us currently right now also seventh in the league table we are two points outside of a promotional spot a playoff spot i should say not just a promotional a playoff spot it's been a while guys since i've had to record the episode it's been a minute and i guess the good thing about not recording has been able to reflect on my my stuff that I put out the product that i put out i've been watching a lot of other youtubers i've actually been watching them normally i put them on in the background while i'm working or while i'm playing other video games just so that way I have some type of white noise going on and I've actually been watching them and a couple things I noticed that they do a lot better than what I do is they actually talk you through a lot of things and whereas me I'll have a quick little talk at the beginning of the episode like right now we'll do the episode have the three games maybe I'll get a conversation in there or not talk at the end and then that's it and I want to kind of, I guess, rebrand the rest of this career mode, the, my channel, and also my channel, I guess you can say. Um, so yeah, guys. So just to get you caught up, because it's been, it's it's been a minute since I've actually looked at this career mode. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Looks like we're still rocking that five three two, even though it says a five two one two. Um, but let's just say five three two. Um, Jebcock and Telfoid up top, Tolly, Duke, and Tesman, the midfield, Cooper, Balk, Bernardo, Evans, and Bolton as our back line, and Cooper as our goalkeeper. And I've decided to do something very, uh, very unique, very different compared to maybe what other YouTubers have done, but also so that way it keeps my, I guess, my players on the team. As we all know, as I said before, if a certain team comes for a player, example, uh, Crystal Palace, Wolves, um, you know, uh, Watford, we'll say, we'll throw in Watford, why not? Some types of those teams, you know, come for one of my players, I have to automatically accept it just because they're currently in the Premier League. If we go look at the Premier League standings real quick, any one of these teams from first all the way down to 18th, which is Everton, very interesting, or sorry, 17th, I should say, has a legit chance to come in and take one of my players. And if they if they put in a bid, I have to accept it. That's the one thing I wanted to make that was different between my career mode and other YouTubers is I wanted to make it somewhat realistic. I know we kind of build this bond with these players, and it's going to suck to lose them. And when we get to the Prem, we could always rebuy them back to the team. There, That's no problem. It'd actually probably be better, not just story-wise, but also – money wise cuz you always get into the premier league around the second or third season you kind of you kind of run out of money when you do one of these road to glory so it wouldn't be that bad of an idea but any one of these teams from 1st to 17th could take one of our players Fulham Crystal Palace Burnley Watford are all key teams that I think would come in for some of our better players and what I've decided to do is this I'm going to go ahead and put it out there right now we're a month before the transfer window hopefully we don't lose anyone during that time but if we are still in the championship next season any player and i'm saying this right now any player that is over an overall of 75 i'm loaning them out i do not want to lose them because as you can tell by jepcott bernardo and cooper they're all 75, and they would be perfect additions to any one of those smaller-ish Premier League sides, you could say. I mean, they would come in and be a solid backup and with dynamic potential. I mean, a couple of them, Jebcott and Cooper, could easily be starters in the Premier League if they hit over 75, which they are. And, I mean, we're halfway through the season almost. 
they're at 75 and they're just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And the last thing I want to do is start up a career mode next season. We're in the championship. We lose Luke Jebcott to Wolves. And yeah, I know I said I could rebuy him in, but there's other players I want to buy probably our first season in the Premier League that we're not going to be able to buy next season if we're in the championship. And looking at this team, I guarantee you guys are all probably thinking the same thing that I'm thinking is that back line. But the good news is, though, guys, if we do loan out certain players, we we do have options for them, okay? Luke Jebkai, if he gets loaned out, we still have Robbie Robinson. Cooper, if he gets loaned out, remember, we have our young, and I should say our very good, our very young goalkeeper from Brazil, this 15-year-old from, from Brazil, which I'm very excited to use. And in all honesty, to me, it looks like Cooper might be going out on loan next year, or he will be as long as he doesn't get bought in the January transfer window. If we're st Sorry, if we're still in the championship, I should say. And Fabio could come in, and he could be a very good, a very young, a very talented goalkeeper that he might even not only push for starting time next year, but he could also push for starting time in the Prem, I mean, if he grew plus 10 next season with that potential, he easily could. Um, but again, we're still very early into this season. Don't expect a lot also when we get to the, trans the January transfer window. I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple of these training sessions, get the team right. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, December. December is slammed, packed with action. There are a total of eight, seven? Seven games in it, and I've decided to to split it in half. So we're going to split it in half up to the 18th of Bristol City. We're going to play the first four games. We're going to sim one. I'm probably going to sim this uh, Preston game here. Um, out of the four games, it's probably the easier opponent out of them, and I'll probably let the second squad take over that. And then we have three games to end the month. However, I'm pretty positive that we have an FA Cup game coming up in the month of January. And because of that, I'm going to throw the FA Cup game into the next episode. So that way we have four games now, four games in the next episode, four games in the January slash transfer window episode, which we really won't have anything going on unless someone comes in. However, guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, train the team up this first day. I'll see you guys in that Brentford game. Ooh. First game back, and of course, it's a cloudy, rainy game here at Brentford. This should be an exciting one. I believe Brentford's in the top six. They might actually be number six, now that I'm thinking about it, where we're seven. So this is a very important matchup between two top sides trying to get at it. I'm, I'm excited, guys. Like I said, it's been a while, so hopefully we can get some type of points out of it. I would love to get three points. Honestly, I would love to get nine points in today's episode and break into that top six. Maybe, honestly, maybe fight for a promotional spot. I mean, I know that's crazy compared to how we start this season, but we'll see. Brentford looks like they're the best defensive team in the league. I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's hope the squad is ready, and let's get into it. Oh, what a stop by Balk, guys. Um... As I said earlier on, I'm pretty sure our next... Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, hold up. Telfoy able to get the ball back. Telfoy gives it up to Jebcott. Jeb... Not really quite sure what happened there, but we were able to take a shot. But as I was saying, guys, I... Uh, looking at the team, I think next season and the season after that, we really need to start investing maybe into some quality center backs. We... Uh, we really don't have that many good ones. I mean, Fernando, Fernando has been amazing. Bolton has come in, and he's been solid. Look at this rundown from Bolton and Cooper with a fingertip save. But to be honest with you guys, Bulk has, he's had his moments. Um, same thing with Evans. Evans has had his moments. And Cooper, I hate to say it because he's been with us since the very beginning, but I just don't see him growing that much, if we're going to be completely honest. I mean, I would love for him to grow into this monstrous left back. Kind of like, hopefully, what Luke Bolton can turn into on the right-hand side. Oh, and Evans gets turned around there, as I was saying. But again, guys, like I was saying, um, I just don't see Cooper becoming that top left back for us. 
in the future, especially if we are able to somehow get into the Premier League this season. And even if we're not, I just don't see him growing. So I think, I think next season I'm definitely going to target Jamie Shackleton to try to bring him into the team and let him grow. Oh, look at this. Tolly, though. Tolly bringing it all the way down. Defense is trying to stop him. Tolly takes the shot. Defending was perfect and not able to gain But as I was saying, guys, I think I think I'm going to go after Jamie Shackleton. Not this season. Um, but he's been a guy on our short list for the past two years. He's a guy who I think could grow into someone that could play a very key part into this team. I'm kind of hoping he has the same effect that Luke Bolton has right now. And look at this. Bryce Duke able to get up and another shot. Defense from Brentford is being phenomenal. But I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little thought to what I'm thinking for the defense. Look at this. They keep the ball in. Still moving the ball there. What a cross in. Balk able to get ahead to it. And Bryce Duke. Is able to keep fighting for it. Bryce Duke looks for Tolly. Tolly gets the ball. Tolly gets up to Jebcott. Jebcott, can he run around the defender? Yes, he can. He gets the angle. He takes the shot, and it's 1-0. Luke Jebcott coming back from injury. Remember, he had that long injury. Makes it 1-0. Plymouth over Brentford. Hey, and look at this. Bryce Duke not able to get off the defender. And Tony here. Tony makes a man miss. Bernardo, and as I was saying, guys, he gets the equalizer. 1-1, 38 minutes into the game. And this might be, it might be start getting into a scoring fest. Totally looking for Jepcott. Jepcott, can he find someone? Looks for Talfoy. Talfoy, able to get around the defense. Talfoy takes a shot, and it's 2-1. Start of the half. I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. Not really quite sure what happened. Just the defense looks sleepy. We're able to make our way around them, and it's a 2-1 lead right now against Brentford. Just look at this. Jebcott able to fight off a defender. Talfoy's able to fight off another defender. Kicks it right past the goalkeeper. 2-1, and uh, this is this is a very good start to the second half. I like it. Unfortunately, Tony has it now. Tony looks for someone. Bernardo bringing in a, the thumping, I guess you can say, to that defense. And look at this. They take a shot, and oh, wow. I thought he was able to find it. Look how open that right-hand side of the net is. And he, oof. Watch out, policeman, because the ball's coming straight for you. Oh, luckily enough, it's still 2-1. Off-target shoot shot right there. And it's, let's see if we can get something going. And look at Tolly. Tolly, can he find someone? Tolly looking for Jebcott. Jebcott able to get around a defender. Jebcott running freely in between the defense. Can he make it? Yes, he can. He gets his brace. And it's 3-1. Plymouth over Brentford. 65 minutes into the game. Let's go ahead and make a quick substitute. So Tolly's actually going to come off. He looks a little tired. Camera can come on. Connell was coming at me before the game to get some game time. So he's going to come on for Tesman. And I think Paul... Time for Paul to come back in for Cooper. Oof. What a say by Cooper. I'm sorry if it's if that edit's a little awkward. I was focused on trying to get this ball out. Didn't realize that they were gonna take a shot. Cooper with the amazing save now. Corner kick for Brentford. Twenty minutes left to go in the game. Looks like Tony is coming off. Number fifteen, not really quite sure who that is. Is coming in and Brentford now with the corner. Can they get something out of this? And looks like a solid no. Let's see if we get something going here and look at this. Bryce Duke able to find Jebcott. Jebcott is a little tired still from his injury. Makes a defender miss. Oh, and he overruns. And look at this. This fall perfect to Cameron. And Cameron finds the back of the net. And it's 4 1. I cannot believe this. The ball falls perfectly to the youngster, to the rookie we can call him, because this is his first year. Ball falls perfect to him. Look at this. I wasn't even paying attention. Jebcott overruns it. Horrible pass by the defender there. And a team that had the best defense in the championship has been playing like us, really, on this defensive side. Can Talfoy get around? Yes, he can. Talfoy. Can he find Jebcott? Yes, he can. 
Jeb Kai gets a hat trick. Wow. I I thought for a second there, guys, the game was going to end after that last goal because Brentford kind of was passing around. They're, they were forcing our hand a little bit. Not pushing, but they were really just keeping the ball away from us. We are able to get the counter attack. And honestly, I just... I just took a shot. I passed it to the middle. Not really not quite sure who was going to get there. Luke Jebcott does, and he he honestly just powers it into the back of the net. Gets a hat trick, coming back from injury. And ironically enough, guys, a game where I talked about sliders not changing them unless I win 5-0, you know, 4-5-0. Here we are, 5-1 against one of the better teams, and it looks like we might have to change the sliders. It's... I find it kind of funny how the first half of the game I was talking about like I'm not going to change them. And now, looking at this game, it looks like we might have to. We'll see. Honestly, I'll see how the rest of this month goes. Not not the episode, but the rest of the month. If I'm, if I'm blowing the next five teams out by four goals each time, then I'll definitely look at updating the sliders um, to make it harder. And look at this. Can we get something going here? Jebcock, oh no. Jebcock, can you make it four? Yes, he can. Uh, yes, he can. I've missed this guy so much. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If we're still in the championship next season, I am going to be miserable without him. It's 6 1. Luke Jebcock has gotten four goals. I think he has half of his goal scoring on the season in this one game. And that should be honestly it for game number one. If there's anything else, I'll show you. But if not, I will see you in that quick sim for the Preston game. Number two, as I said in the first game, I'm only going to quick sim this Preston game. I want to try a different format from before. Play three, quick sim one. It makes editing for me easier. It makes editing, or sorry, it may, I think it might make the quality of the video better for you guys. So let's go ahead and quick sim this Plymouth game. Or not, sorry. Let's go ahead and quick sim this Preston game. As you can tell, I've rotated the entire side except for two players, Bernardo and Cooper. And it is a 2-2 draw. Frank and Canal both get goals. It's a 2-2 draw. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for game number three. By far the best signing of this season. Bernardo has come in and he has reshaped our defense. Um, I remember in season one when we were playing, our defense was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. The youth academy did not did not give us good players, um, if you want to say. They, the youth academy did not give us a good back line. We had to go out and buy someone. Bernardo going up against his former team, a guy that wasn't starting for him, but guess what? He's starting for us, and he's the captain for us. Bernardo has come in. He has shaped his defense. He has been a difference maker. And let's get into it. Let's win this game, not for us and for three points, but I want to win this game for him. And look at me. I look serious. Let's get into it. Oh, and this looking. It was opening up for them. Dos Santos takes a shot, and it's an early goal. Defense just comes to shambles. Brighton is able to get past us, and it's 1-0 early on. Pai has him. Pai finds a, a guy wide open. They take the shot, and wow. Outside of the box, he takes the shot, gets around Cooper. It's 2-0. This is not looking good. We're not... Or, Right, it brings it down, and they are tearing up our defense. I was praising our defense before the game, and they are just... Uh, it's 3-0. I'm not even sure what the time is. I think it might be 20 minutes into the game. We are getting destroyed. Look at this, Luke Jebcock. Can Jebcock get around the defender? Yes, he can. Takes a shot, but the goalkeeper is able. Matt Ryan is able to make the save. Oh, and that's goal number four. I knew it was coming. The past ten minutes of gameplay, they uh, 
Brighton's been the better team. We started out the second half very strong. Wasn't able to get any shots on it, but we were, we, were, we seemed like a more attacking team in the second half compared to the first half. But the last 10 minutes, it's been bright and bright and bright. And then Cooper's been able to make a couple good saves, a couple clean saves. But Brighton's able to finally get into the back of the net. The captain gets another goal. It's either I know it's two for him today, but it might be three. I know it's three total in the prem or sorry championship, but it it's either it's two definitely maybe three, and it's a beatdown. And that is it for game number three, a four nil beatdown. I guess it's only fitting after the first game us, you know, dominating, where it looked like we need to change the sliders. Now in Brighton we lose four nil. We are definitely not. I don't think we're ready for the prem. If I'm gonna be completely honest, even though we're fighting for a promotional spot, I would. I would be perfectly fine staying in the championship for another year. Let the team grow. Even if I have to loan out a couple players, I think that would be perfectly fine because we can still let the team continue to grow. We can let other players who, who might not get a chance to properly grow, grow next season. However, if anything happens in this upcoming week, I'll let you guys know. If, if not, I'll see you in the final game of the episode. A guy that did absolutely nothing for us in our last game against Brighton. A guy that needs to show up against Bristol City. It's uh, Plymouth versus Bristol City to in, in the final game of today's episode. I also looked at the calendar real quick, and we have our next opponent in the FA Cup drawn. I will show you who that is at the end of the day. However, guys, it's the final game of the episode. It's Plymouth Argyle versus Bristol City. Luke Jebcott needs to get something going. I've started Robbie Robinson beside him because I want to see if maybe that would happen, if that would make a better chemistry going on. We had a win in today's episode, a draw and a loss. Let's get a win against Bristol City. Let's get three points. Let's hop into it. Let me get something going here. We've been moving the ball around very nicely. Jebcott. Sees Duke. Duke takes a shot. And Duke is able to find the back of the net. It's 1-0. Plymouth over Bristol City. We were moving the ball very, very nicely up to this buildup. It's, it's something I don't really do. I'm more of a counter-attacking footballer when it comes to FIFA. But I was able to move the ball very nicely. We saw the open man. Duke gets open behind the defense. He takes a shot. Hasn't been able to score as much as he did last season in League One, unfortunately, especially with the championship. But he's still growing. He's a guy that, to be honest with you guys, if we're still in the championship next season, I'm going to miss him. But... The show must go on. We're up 1-0. We're still on this season. Seven goals in the championship. Let's see if we can get some more to secure this victory. Bernardo now. Bernardo, can he find someone? Finds Tanner Tesman. Yes, he does. Gets tripped up a little bit. We'll keep the ball moving because Robbie Robinson has it. Robbie Robinson, can he find someone? Crosses it in for Luke. Oh, I thought that was going in just like the fans. Wow. Does slow him down. Bernardo, can you get it in? Uh, Bristol City brings it back within one. It's 1-1. One, one. They get the, get the equalizer. I was going to say late equalizer, but it's only 35 minutes into the game. I guess the late first half equalizer. I try to get bodies in front, and they just power it through. Cooper not able to keep it out of the back of the net. It's 1-1, one, one, and Bristol City is not going anywhere. Look at this. Bolton all by himself over here on the right-hand side. Totally. And look at this. Robbie Robinson gets behind the defense. Robbie Robinson, can he take the shot? Yes, he can. And Robbie Robinson makes it 2-1. Plymouth back up on top. 54 minutes in to the second half. So a little bit after halftime, we're able to get a goal. Oh, that feels good. It all started really with Tolly. It doesn't show it here, but Tolly had the ball on the other side of the pitch. And... There was about four Bristol City guys around him. Sends it to the other side to find Bolton. Bolton finds Tanner. Tanner finds Robbie. And, well, it's 2-1. Dylan James is happy. And I don't know what's going on with that guy's hands. And let's see if we can win three points. 11 goals so far in the championship for Robbie. So he's having himself a, a pretty solid season, I would have to say. 
That is it for the final game of today's episode. A 2-1 close call. Bristol City brought it. Almost gave up to... Uh, almost gave up the lost... Or, the, or, or, sorry. Almost gave up three points there towards the end. Nothing really excited happened. However, Robbie Robinson coming in, getting the start today, getting a goal. Very impressive. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the menus, and I'll show you who our next FA Cup opponent is. All right, guys, as we look forward to tomorrow's episode, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick layout of it. Cardiff City, we're going to play. Millsboro, we're going to play. We're probably going to sim that third game. And then for the third or third and final game of the episode, Derby County, bottom of the table in the championship, I think. Let me actually go double check real quick because I keep trying to keep tabs on them. Okay, so they're actually making their way up on the championship. They were in the relegation zone, but it looks like they're finally starting to get some wins underneath their belt. When you look at us, we are still in seventh, four points outside of six. But as you can tell, Aston Villa has a game in hand. If they make or if they get the three points, that puts them up to 48. So it would be Sheffield United who would be six, five points clear of us. And they're on the same game amount of games as us guys it's going to be a nail biter all the way i think down to the end of the season please do not go anywhere again i am sorry that i've been away for the past two weeks i've had some stuff come up in my life that's been positive nothing negative it's been positive but hopefully now we can get back to release an episode every day or every other day and give you guys the content that you guys deserve however guys that is it for today's episode and i'm out deuce